So let's uh, talk about the weight of the sky. <coughs> now what is normally known as the sky is a spherical body over and above the surface of the solid uh, earth. To estimate that, what we have to do is we have to consider as to what is the pressure which is on the surface of the earth and this is because of very long column of earth that comprises the atmosphere and the other spheres, stratosphere and this and that and if we work it out then it's very interesting that uh, that the rough estimate is that it is 50 million billion metric tons which means given in the decimal system that is around 5 into 10 to the power of 19 kilograms that is the mass that is encompassed and then we have to multiply it by to find out the weight we have to multiply it by an average out value of small d the acceleration due to gravity but let us concentrate on the mass itself and the mass of this layer is 5 into 10 to the power of 19 kilograms which is a huge number but if we compare that with the mass of the solid earth it is 6 around 6 into 10 to the power of 24 kilograms which means if we divide the mass of the sky by the mass of the earth then it turns out to be equal to to be 1 upon 10 to the power of 5 or 1 divided by 1 lakh so it is a very small part of the total earth system which is the sky and this builds up a pressure a very very huge pressure as if there were hundreds and thousands of elephants one over the other uh, which is uh, affecting us on the surface of the earth and we carry this weight whether we are kids or we are adults we carry that because our system is built up of uh, that capability and that capacity we have to uh, maybe if we are taken to another planet or maybe on the moon then we have to artificially generate that kind of a pressure to keep ourselves afloat on that surface. So it's a very interesting thing. We'll talk more about these things later on. So long.